The Speaker recognizes Representative Ferris. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In Michigan, as we all know, we are blessed with some of the greatest and most abundant natural resources in the entire country. And wildlife is one of those great resources. I do believe the DNR has done an excellent job using information from biologists and other scientists that we employ to monitor and manage our wildlife and our fisheries. I believe this current system should continue including the careful use of hunting as a population management tool. But four times in our recent memory, this legislature has denied or ignored citizens' votes on important issues. My previous representatives have spoke about many of these, but I want to just highlight them quickly. We have done this with women's health care, with the minimum wage, with emergency financial managers and the so-called right to work legislation. All the things that had been voted on by the people or were about to be voted on by the people or now cannot be voted on by the people because this legislature is following a bad pattern of disenfranchising our own citizens who, who if their opinions differ from our own. You know, whether we agree or we disagree with a ballot proposal or a referendum, the fact remains that those who brought it did so by exercising their democratic rights. 300,000 valid signatures represents about 3% of our state's population, and every referendum in Michigan is put on the ballot by a minority because our Constitution is written so that that small minority can bring an issue before their neighbors and we can measure by their votes the true will of the people of Michigan. I'm not against hunting. I was brought up in a family where hunting was just something that you did and I happen to marry a guy who hunting is what you do. People living in Michigan have hunted and fished and trapped for centuries. And I personally disagree with the agenda of the Humane Society of the United States. I, along with my husband and my children, have raised sporting dogs or hunting dogs for years. And I am very, very excited to see that my, great year, my eight year old granddaughter will get up at 4 a.m. to go duck hunting with my son, her uncle. I think that is a great way that we celebrate our out of doors and our hunting. And we pass it on to our children. But my vote today is not to ensure or to deny a wolf hunt because this vote is not about hunting. This vote is about validating citizens' right to participate in government. You know, many supporters of this act have called my office and they have said, this is not the time to make a stand. They agree with my stand, but they're telling me it's not the time. Not now, not on this issue. Do it next time. But you know what, I, I have to apologize because I truly believe that this is exactly the right time to do it and the right time to take that stand. And I urge you to vote no with me. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on the question of passage of the initiative petition, there are 65 I votes and 43 nay votes. A majority of the members elected and serving having voted therefore, the initiative petition is passed.